welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a php based web application which database is the google sheet yes you hear it right we have a php web application but the backend database we have the google sheet we have the php dashboard we are connected to the google sheet as a database so i will show you the demo so first of all you can see here in our google sheet we have the user sheet in our users we can add the users you can see here the username and the password is a hash password technology we have used so you can see here i just enter here admin and the password and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here uh, these uh, going it, it will be going to log in here and when it will be going to log in the time will be the updated here as well you can see here right now the time you can match with my system it will be the updated last login so it means their database is successfully being connected to the google sheet now you can see here the dashboard look we have the total employees in our employees sheet you can see one employees one demo employees we have and you can see here one e as active employees one department and one new to this month okay again we have a quick action this is not a complete dash dashboard this is just for showing you that a php based web app dashboard is connected to the google sheet database so when you go click on this employee and click on this user you can able to see these particular employees and these particular users here so you can see here this is a demo name demo name in our google sheet database we have also the demo name and last name as the demo name so it means that data will become from the google sheet okay again you can see here the users you can also see here we have the edit and delete functionality so this dashboard you can simply say here the crud dashboard or uh, the crud dashboard which is based in the php which is making the php and the backend we are used as a google sheet so how you can set up this in your site let me show you step by step so first of all you must need to have a hosting where you will host the php files uh, you can choose your own in my case i am use the hostinger okay so you can see here this is a hostinger and when we go to our file manager we will see a folder name the public html you can see here right now the public html we will delete all the files from here because i am going to show you all the things from the scratch so let me upload the files which i will be provided to you in the description you can go and download that files so you just simply click on this file and where you have saved your file you can simply go to that folder and control a and simply open that particular file so all the files will be uploaded in your file manager in your hosting no matter you can choose your own hosting which is suitable to you go to the code.js uh, copy this all the code and now come back to your google sheet google drive or you can simply uh, uh, make here the sheet.new okay so when you click on this sheet.new so you can create it i will give him a name in front of your uh, php work v1 okay so this is a php work and this is a php work v1 so what we need to do we simply need to go to the extensions go to the app script so when we go to the app script as of now you can able to see here this is a app script editor in our code.js file we will add our particular copied code and click on this save and uh, when uh, after click on this save we will click on this new deployment and when we uh, click on this new deployment as of now you can able to see here this setting icon select a web app and select anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy as of now you can able to see here it will grant your permissions you can simply click on this authorize access and uh, you can simply continue with this and now again click on this advanced go to this project and now again click on this allow so it will give you a web app url you just simply need that particular url okay i just copy this particular url go to my files and go you will find here the config.php file i just open this file and replace with my new url okay so when i click on this and simply click on this save so now i go back 
and re just uh, log out from here okay when i log out or i just need to refresh this so i am just going to refresh this and uh, now you simply click on this setup and configuration click on this open new tab so it will make sure you are uh, your setup is complete it will also give you the deployment instructions so this is a url which we have uh, added in our config.php we just simply click on this test connection so it will check out that our link our web app url our google sheet is connected successful or not so you can see here a uh, collect connection established but unexpected response received okay so you can see here the connection is configured successfully you simply now click on this run setup so when you click on this run setup as of now you can able to see here the users and the employee sheets is automatically being created and one username or add one demo data is being successfully added here okay now all the things done go to the login so when you go to the login as of now you can able to see here a create new account option i just simply click on this create new account so i just enter here the user and in the the user at the rate uh, i will just add a demo data here and the full name is also here's user and the password i will also add the user one two three okay so user one two three okay in the uh, confirm password i will also add this particular and i agree and click on this create account so when i click on this create account in the users section you can able to see here the data is going to be registered in our database okay so you can see here the user is being successfully added in our google sheet here we use the google sheet as a backend now you just simply click here and you can see here the registration successful please log in i just simply click on this login click on this sign in so as of now i am going to log in as a admin because in the user i i don't have add anything important in the users there you can also update your profile simply that's it uh nothing else more than so you can see here this is a created time of that particular user and if it will be the login you can also able to check out the login last login time here okay again you can see here uh, i am successfully being logged in here in our database we don't have the employees uh, we don't have any employees active employees what we need to do we go to the employees section and when we go to the employees section it will load the data and now you can able to see here all the uh, headers are already pre-installed by setup configuration how this will be happen we have added a setup.php so in that we have added a by default some data which will be the executed as a database settlement the headers the column indexes everything so you can able to see here we are in the employee management section i just sim simply click on this add new employee and I click here the demo okay click here the uh remis, okay and click here the demo at the red gmail.com and phone here one two three for what you want to edit select department you can easily position hr date of birth if you want to add you can simply add the salary you can add here the demo data status is active or inactive address you can add here any demo okay city you can add here the demo and country you can add here the demo and click on this add employee so when you click on this add employee your employee is going to be added in our google sheets database so you can see here the employee is added successfully here and once the employee is added it will the this web app will refresh itself and show you the demo so you can see here the employee management the employee added successfully and now you can able to see if you want to view this you can simply view the employee details okay so there's a one thing it will take a 0 0.5 second to get the data from the google sheet to the front end due to the server latency or google sheet connections okay again when you go to your profile section in the profile section you can update the, your profile as well and in the dashboard section we have added some quick action buttons like add employee and many thing more so hope you will uh, like the concept and if you want that i will continuously make uh, make the videos on php or uh, as a google sheet that uh, database please comment below or subscribe our channel thank you very much take care a lot please